YouTube, it's Marina, and today I am doing a spooky Halloween makeup look. I don't exactly know how it's gonna come out yet. Obviously, you know from the thumbnail and the title what it is. I have an idea in my head. We'll see how <laughs> it's executed dramatic hair flip. Anyway, before I get into today's video, I just really wanted to stop and thank you guys. I don't do that enough. I just want to thank you, whether it's your first time watching my videos, whether you've come back a million times, if you're already subscribed, I just want to thank you so much for being here and watching my videos. I do this 100% because I enjoy it and people watching and interacting on my videos is just an added bonus. That being said, it is helpful to me when you guys give me a thumbs up. That way I know what kind of videos you like and want to see more of. And of course, if you subscribe, it just motivates me to be more consistent with my videos. I will always do them no matter what, but it's just um, more motivation to be consistent and put them up for you guys to see. Thank you so much for anyone who interacts, anyone who watches my videos. You guys are all so very much appreciated and I just want you to know that. Anyway, back to today's video, which is this makeup look, this Halloween makeup look that you saw in the thumbnail. I know that I'm gonna be starting out with just like my normal foundation routine and I don't want to record that. It's just like a waste of time for your viewing and for my editing. Like, I'm just gonna do my normal foundation. If you're following along to this, whatever your normal foundation is, put it on right now, including like your, um contour, highlight, whatever. Put it on and then I'm gonna start with my eye makeup and then get into the more spooky whatever after that. So follow along. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's just get right into it. All right guys, so the first thing I'm gonna be doing is priming my eyes. All the stuff I'm using is in the description box down below as usual. I'm using my Morphe 35B and then a cheap rainbow palette from maybe like five below or something. But the point is I'm using colorful shadows, um, orange tones, some browns. You can do whatever kind of eye look you want for this, but I did kind of a really blended out um, cut crease as you will see. I am definitely not the best person to go ahead and do a full on tutorial for cut crease yet. I'm working on them. I'm trying to practice with them. Um, I don't really have the best concealer for it yet, but that is the look I was kind of going for for this. I really didn't go into much detail with the eye look just because it's not my main focus of this. I really want to capture the special effect with the zipper, which you'll see shortly. I'm also obviously not very good at getting my eye in the frame when I'm filming it, so I really just didn't focus on the eye in the video much. I just wanted to go quickly over um, what I was doing. Here you can see me with the glitter liner lining the cut crease and then also the eyeliner. And then this is the zipper pack I got. So this was just from Walmart. It was $5. It came with everything you needed. I'm not using the Spirit gum, which is like the sticky stuff that came with it just because I have a different package, but it did come with it if you're trying to do this look. Here you can see me um, marking where I was going to be putting the zipper. I just used some eyeliner because it was going to get covered up anyway. And now I'm going in with the orange and I'm just going to keep it within those lines that I just made. So this is that spirit gum that I was just talking about. Just so you know, it comes with a little brush attached to it. I was concerned about that because I had a brush ready, but I was scared it was going to get ruined. Just because this stuff is sticky, I didn't know how it was going to work out, but it was really convenient that it had the brush attached. And this applied pretty easy. I only had trouble with it in one spot. Now I'm just going to take the orange eyeshadow and pat it over to kind of fill in any patchy areas and also to set it. And now I'm just taking a black eyeshadow with an eyeliner brush. It did come out a little bit messy, but I didn't want to use um, the liquid liner just because I thought it'd be too harsh. I wanted a softer look for the pumpkin lines. And then now I'm creating the pumpkin nose. I went for the orange. A lot of people have been going for the skull nose, but I figure if I'm sticking to a jack-o'-lantern look, I wanted to keep it as authentic to a jack-o'-lantern as possible. And now I'm just going to shape out the mouth. I'm really just going for a normal jack-o'-lantern toothless look. I encourage you to get as creative as possible with this. Make it look however you want, as if you're carving a pumpkin. Now I'm just going back to my brows. I filled them in and then I'm going to be using that same glitter liner that I used on my eyelids to line the tip of my brow. If you ever watched Glam Masters, you might have seen um, Vic Broca. She did a 
a V brow she called it and I've been using that for a lot of my looks. And that is it for this Halloween look. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Again, all the stuff I use is in the description box down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss a video. Follow me on all my social media and I'll see you all in my next video. Thank you.